Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again. All right, guys, another spring day. Wanted to do a brand new beer just came out. I think this actually might be an exclusive review here, guys. One of the first on the interwebs as far as video beer reviews for this one. This is a new dogfish head, brand new. This is Robert Johnson's Hellhound on my ale, which is a 10% Imperial IPA, 100 IBUs, huge, huge IPA. Dry hopped off the ass with Centennial hops. So you're going to get a nice citrus flavor in there. They add lemon peel um, into the whirlpool, so you're going to get even more citrus out of it. This is basically another collaboration that Dogfish Head did with uh, Legacy Music to celebrate Robert Johnson, who was a very famous um, blues musician. You know, the legend goes he sold his soul at the crossroads to the devil, um, and that's kind of what you get. The, uh, that's the story, at least, the legend behind him. He changed um, blues, blues music as we know it. So with that said, guys, let me get into a glass, let you know it smells, tastes, and give you guys the verdict on Dogfish Head Brewing's Robert Johnson's Hellhound on my ale. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Hellhound ale, I'm just going to call it that from now on. Um, it's a really dark orange, hazy, hazy, hazy. Uh, about three fingers worth of white head on there. Nice carbonation coming off the bottom of the glass, but this glass is conducive to that. So um, really nice kind of white whipped cream looking head. Um, slight change of yellow in there between the beer um, and the actual head itself. Nice lacing. I am seeing a little bit of the alcohol legs on there. Um, definitely a nice looking Imperial IPA, what I would expect. Uh, not what I was expecting though. I was expecting big citrus notes, um, juicy like ripe oranges, juicy lemons, which you tend to get a lot from San Antonio. I'm not getting that in this one. There's a spiciness there. There's a big, big time um, like spicy fruit quality to it. Um, definitely some of that bitterness is present, but not as much as I would have thought for the 100 IBUs. Light lemon notes orange peel, lemon zest, um, a slight kind of sweet mango coming through in there. Big caramel notes in this one, roasted quality to it, big roasted notes. Maltiness, a breadiness definitely coming through, a spiciness also present in the malt as well. Yeah, it's an interesting smelling Imperial IPA, just not as hoppy as I would have thought it would have been. All right, the taste on Dogfish Head's Hellhound on my tail. There's a strong bitterness um, present in this one. Not overwhelming. Um, I've had 100 IBU beers. I've just blown my tongue away. This isn't too bad. Middle of the tongue, you start to get some of that citrus, light lemon peel, light orange zest, um, kind of a, a mango flavor coming through. Not real sweet, not real bitter. Um, no hop really is dominant in this one. I thought with Centennial, it would be kind of just screaming, kind of sweet tropical fruits and, you know, really ripe oranges, really ripe lemons. Not getting that. I am definitely getting some of that lemon peel flavor in there that this is brewed with. Lots of mouthfeel on this one. Lots of caramel notes, breadiness, really, really coming through. Um, kind of coats the mouth. Nice carbonation, does help to clean the palate. Really, really nice dry finish, so you, you are getting that Imperial IPA finish. I was expecting more of a West Coast feel to this one, based on how it's described and, you know, from what I can, what I would have thought it would have been. I'm not getting that. I'm getting very, very East Coast IPA flavors. That spiciness, um, that, that English kind of spiciness in there. Subdued hop characters, citrus is definitely there, sweet, but it's not over the top. Um, it's just, you know, not the biggest Imperial IPA I've ever had, but you know, it's, it's, it's decent. All right, guys, so the final verdict, the end of the day, the dogfish head, Robert Johnson's Hellhound on my ale. I'm gonna give this one a B plus. It's just not as hop forward and, you know, as big of an Imperial IPA as I was expecting. They kind of build it up to. This is a fresh bottle. This is as fresh as you can get it. And it's just not that hop forward. And I kind of like, you know, if you're gonna tout a beer as having all these hops in, 100 IBUs, da 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 da, it better just blow my mind. This one isn't. There's not a big hop bitterness in there. There's not a big hop, you know, forward quality to it. Lots of malt backbone in this one. I just would have wanted to be more hoppy, I think, in the aroma and the taste, to be honest with you. So with that said, guys, definitely if you dig Dogfish Head beers, check it out. If you like Bitches Brew, 
you know, this is the next in their music series. I don't know what they're calling it now, Legends of Music or whatever. Um, but with that says, guys, I'm going to give this Robert Johnson's Hellhound on my ale quite the mouthful of a beer name. I'm going to give it a B plus. Definitely check it out if you can. Remember, folks, life is too short. Drink and make some beers, guys. Cheers.